All right, so this is the demo video for the Concrete Starter Pack, and just going to show you what you get when you download the software and install it. So um, once you've installed the program, the Concrete Starter Pack will show up in your Templates tab of PlanSwift. And I've got mine fully expanded here. There's, there's three folders here if you expand all of it. This is what comes with the plugin. Tons of rebar parts, all kinds of um, different examples. There's some example assemblies, but the primary uh, goodies that come in this plugin are all of the different parts for dragging and dropping and creating your own unique assemblies, and especially these rebar parts. These, this rebar in here is awesome. It's easy to use, it's accurate, and it'll make it fly through your takeoffs. So we're going to show you how to do that really quickly. Um, the big advantage here, again, is the drag and drop functionality of this starter pack to build and create your own custom stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Going back to the home tab, I've already got a, a foundation plan all queued up here. And if I zoom in, you can see I've already measured my footing at one foot four inches. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my sample footing here. And let's open up my concrete. So you'll notice your plants with comes with sample takeoff templates and parts and assemblies. Here's my concrete. And I'm going to dive into my example assemblies here for a concrete footing. We'll find that in this folder structure under your linear assemblies. So I'll launch that by clicking the green button. And rather than this footing width being one feet or three feet or whatever, we know it was one foot four inches. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 1.33. And that's the footing width. Uh, the depth would be whatever depth that's specified by the engineer. So let's say that's, um, you could actually type in 18 inches. So you could change all of this here um, by changing your input units. But let's just go ahead and say that it's only uh, 1.15 or 1.5 feet deep. And then the number of runs, this is the number of runs of rebar inside that footing. So I'm going to say there's three. I'm going to change the color of the footing to red. And then just go ahead and um, put this in a separate folder called Concrete Starter Pack. So we'll just call it CSP. Now I'll go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice my digitizer turns on. And I will begin digitizing around my footing. Now if I make a mistake, I can hit undo here, back up, and fix that. I'm not going to do the entire thing, so we'll just stop here. You could also do a new section if I had to come through here and, and run a piece that I did not get yet. All right, and then we'll stop there. Um, so there's half my footing so far, and you can see that I've got 19 bars of rebar, 8 tons of gravel, and here's the cubic yardage of the concrete. This is 10 cubic yards of concrete. All right. Um, now... You'll notice those numbers, if I want to continue adding to my total, I can select Digitize Record and it will pick up where I left off. And everything here is going to continue to update as I finish out my uh, concrete. And for the corner there, you kind of got to overlap or it won't get all of it. So here's my, to my new totals. I have 27 bars of rebar at 20 feet. 12 tons of gravel, and 14.23 cubic yards of concrete. Now let's say rather than um, pricing it out by the bar of concrete, I want to price it out by the ton. This is what's really cool. I can go ahead and drag and drop my rebar. And I'm going to grab rebar for linear takeoffs. And I want to grab and price out my rebar by the by per pound, not specifically per ton. But this has a couple different kinds in here. I've got horizontals and verticals. So I'm going to run number four rebar at the base and what I do is just from here drag and drop I want three runs I'm actually going to add in a 10% waste factor and click OK and that gives me 386 pounds of rebar instead of having 27 bars I can just now simply delete that and I have the same exact assembly that I had before it's just this one uses rebar price per pound versus um, the rebar price by the bar. If I go back into my estimating tab, I can see that structure here. 
And here's the folder that I created called CSP. There's my gravel, my continuous footing, and my rebar. Now, this plugin doesn't come with any pricing, but if I wanted to price all that out right now, I could do that very easily. So let's say I'm at $35 a ton for gravel, and I'm just making these up out of the top of my head. The concrete might be $110 per cubic yard, and then my rebar per pound might be $0.55 cents a pound. Okay. So there's your numbers, 435 bucks on the gravel, 1500 bucks on the concrete, and $212 on the rebar. Um, let me go back here and show you a quick example of my foundation slab. So this says there's a four inch concrete slab on grade. I'm gonna go ahead and hide my um, foundation that we put in here, or the footing rather, and then go back to my example slab assembly and turn that on by clicking the green button to light to start that up. By default, the slab thickness was already four inches. I could change that to five or six or whatever depth if I had a different slab, but I'll just keep it as is and we'll click OK. And then my digitizer recorder turns on. If I need to magnify, I can press M on the keyboard to magnify. That's just a hotkey that you might want to know. Holding down M as I go around my slab here in this basement. And when I'm done, I don't have to go back to the point that I started at. I can just right click and hit stop. When I select it, it tells me that I had 13 cubic yards for the concrete, 12, 21 tons of pea gravel, and then this one came with a welded wire. Now, again, let's say I'm not going to use welded wire and I want to use rebar. What I'll do this time is actually delete the welded wire, and then I'm going to go back to my concrete parts. And let's see, this is actually concrete. I want to go to my rebar parts for area takeoffs. And because we were pricing out rebar per pound, I'm going to do number four, price per pound. And simply drag this and drop this. And you can see there's a note that says add part. When I drop it on, it tells me the size, the spacing that I'm going to have in my grid, which would be 24 inches in this case. I'll add in 10%. And right here this time, I can also plug in my cost, which we said was 55 cents for rebar. Click OK, and I have another 667 pounds. Now, if I go back to my estimate, you'll see now that I have a slab in with my concrete footing. The only thing remaining for me to do is price out the concrete, which we said was 110, and I could put the price on the pea gravel. Um, let's say that's about the same thing as my gravel that I got in there, so it might be 36 bucks per ton, and then I've got my totals there. And then one thing really slick with PlanSwift, if I wanted to just simply export this to Excel, click my Export to Excel button, and I'm dumping that data right into a spreadsheet. Um, and I'll just get rid of all this. That was from a different sample. There you go. Here's everything I need. And I could run that, that total here and price this out super quick. So about 4800 bucks for my slab and my concrete foundation. Now, that's um, there's other ways to get this totaled up as well. Um, we're not going to dive into that on this demo. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to copy and create your own parts and assemblies. So here I have this concrete slab. I'm going to modify this um, by copying and pasting. And you can see how simple that is. And then I'm going to go to Properties. I'm going to actually rename this a 5-inch slab and change the default thickness to 5 inches. And then if I don't want welded wire on this, I can delete that item by right-clicking and hitting Delete. And then you can even drag and drop over here onto your own templates. So I'm actually working on my templates to create my own custom templates. Okay. Um, if you haven't had any plans with training, I highly recommend that you get some training because they can teach you how to do this as well in your training session. Uh, but now I've added in that rebar automatically. And here's where I could also set my prices. If these are always fixed, I can set them there. I could come in and set the price on my slab, which would be 110. And I could set the price on the pea gravel, which we said was 36. So now just by simply hitting copy and paste, I could do another one of these um, slabs here at six inches and simply just change the name here to be my six inch slab and so just that quickly I've been able to build 
two brand new assemblies by really copying and pasting, and I can drag and drop. Now on a six inch slab, I might need um, rebar with a little bit more thickness. So again, I'll delete out that number four, and I might use number five every time I do a six inch slab. So I'll drag and drop number five right here, set my waste factor, set my price. It's because this is all in pounds, it's still the same price, 55 cents a pound. It'll just weigh more because it's 1.43 pounds per foot as opposed to my rebar, which is 6.668 pounds per foot. Um, and then I'll show you how to launch these assemblies. So let's say this was um, a six inch slab. Instead, I could digitize this as a six inch slab. I'll just hide this and show you now where my new assembly is. There's a six inch slab. I click the green button to launch it. Plug in the color I want. We'll use red for this one. Click OK and do my digitizing. I'm going to just do a really quick and dirty shape here just for demo purposes. And there's my numbers 18 cubic yards, 19 tons, and 980 pounds of rebar. And check this out when I go to my estimating because I had already set my pricing. Once I expand this out, my prices are already there, 2,066, 717, and 539. So there's a lot of ways you can uh, manipulate the parts and assemblies within your concrete starter pack. Uh, really cool plugin. Everything's basically already built for you to get started. And uh, you can get rolling right away if you're in concrete. And it's a nicely priced uh, plugin. Get with your plugin rep if you've got any questions, and it can help you out. Thanks.